Hi, right, so John, welcome back to Thomcraft Quick for Thomcraft version 6. In this episode, we're going to look into making an automated tree farm using the Lumberjack Seal. To get that though, we're going to have to unlock Block Breaking, the Block Breaker Seal, and the Lumberjack Seal. So, to unlock Block Breaking, we're going to need a Diamond, a Piston, and a Therian Golemancy. To get the Block Breaker Seal, we're going to need a Therian Golemancy and to know about Predicio. And finally, to open the Lumberjack Seal, we're going to need a Therian Golemancy and to know about Herba. There we go. So now we can make Lumberjack Seals, which are an advanced version of the Block Breaker Seal, which will require a Golem that has Breaking Arms to be able to use this. So, let's start out by making the um, Breaker Seal. Okay, so the recipe for the Block Breaker Seal is Infusion. We're going to need a Golden Pickaxe, a Golden Axe, and a Golden Shovel with Humanus, Instrumentum, and Predicio. So the instability is negligible, so this shouldn't be too bad. Let's go ahead and put these things down. Blank Seal for our Infusion, and we'll go ahead and start that. Okay, so... To transform the Blockbreaker Seal into the Lumberjack Seal, we're going to need to use Alchemy. This is going to require 40 Herba and 20 Census with a Blockbreaker Seal. Let's go ahead and grab that and scan it. Alright. Let's go ahead and toss this into one of our automated guys. There we go. We can make it make an Advanced Blockbreaker or make a Lumberjack Seal. The advanced block breaker would be able to break uh, more kinds of blocks, or actually filter on what kind of blocks you can break. So, there we go, the lumberjack seal. Now, if you want to do a lot of golem automation, you kind of need a lot of golems to work together. So that's what we're going to work on right now. I usually use three golems for the tree farm. One to plant the trees, one to gather and store the drops, so the wood and saplings and whatnot, and one for the lumberjack. Um, the lumberjack seal needs breaker arms, which will not work with the used seal, which needs to plant. Now, the used seal could work as a collector, but I have found that causes problems for me, so I would not recommend it. So, I've got all kinds of material here to make some golems. So let's work on that. I want a collect store golem. He's going to be a simple golem with basic arms, but he'll have wheels to be faster and a carry frame to let him carry more than one thing at once. There we go. There is our collect and store golem. The other two need to be smart. So let's turn off his collect. Um, the use golem who's going to plant my trees, I want him to be fine manipulators because otherwise he can't plant trees. He has to be smart because he can't plant trees without being smart. And I'll let, him, I'll let him be a unit to be fast. There we go. Now in Thomcraft 4, which type of golem you made seemed to matter on how fast he tried on the trees. I don't think that's a thing in Thomcraft 6. It hasn't seemed to change anything at all for me. So I'm going to keep it a wood golem. If you want him better protected, you can make him stronger, but... Honestly, that's just for keeping his hit points up. If you're protecting your golems, they shouldn't need to worry about that anyway. So, there we go. Breaker arms, basic legs, and a smart head. Okay, I thought I did the math on that. Oh well, doesn't matter. Let's go outside and realize I forgot any saplings. So, let me grab some saplings too. Alright, so here we go. Here's where we're going to do our tree farm, or at least, you know, a very basic one. So, I'm going to start out by having a chest, or rather a couple chests. One will be the chest where I have the saplings, and one will be the chest where I store things. You know what? No, it won't. That would not work at all, because he would run out of saplings. So, we're going to have a double chest. That's what I want. So, we're going to store in there... And we're going to provide the saplings also from there. We are going to have a used seal to plant the tree. And you will need one seal per tree you want to plant. 
And if you want different kinds of trees, you're going to need more than one provide golem. I don't know why, but they go back to the chest and they pick up saplings they don't need and they just hold on to them and they won't do anything else until that's out of their hands. And they won't put them back up. So it's just best if you make sure you have different provide golems for different type of saplings. Or just have a monoculture, just have one type of tree. So we'll plant the tree right here. I'm going to put the U seal on top. And I'll put the golem, the lumberjack seal, right next to it. So, uh, over on our use seal, we need to filter this guy. He needs to be a whitelist where you can only put trees. You need to be able to click empty air. He can only plant on an empty block space. And I want him to request provisioning from the whitelist. We'll make this guy for white seals. Doesn't really matter. Um, this guy... Again, change his range if you want. His range is fine for this one tree. It would need to be bigger if you had more trees, but, you know, it's fine for here. Uh, you can set a color, although this is really only one golem can do this because he's clumsy. The other guys cannot do this at all. So, uh, colors don't really even matter for this seal, generally. All right, so the provide golem. We're going to give him a white list of saplings. And we will always leave at least one item. Although that doesn't really, that shouldn't matter at all. So it shouldn't matter. Okay, uh, again, he's going to be white because he's the same guy who's planting. And now we need the collect and store guys. So the collect and store guy will make him magenta. And let's plant the collect down. And the collect, maybe we want that to be a wider range. So there we go. Now I just need to get some colors for the golems because I'm realizing I forgot to do that as well. So let me get some white, orange, and magenta. All right, I ended up changing it to cyan, light gray, and gray. Uh, I'm not sure how far away from this are, what colors we're using over here. So let's just make sure we don't interfere with those guys. So this is going to be my breaker golem who is not cyan, he is light gray. So let's plant him down right about here. Yeah. We'll make him light gray. And then we've got this guy, who is my planter golem. He should be cyan. We'll plant him right over here. And finally, we'll have our collect store guy and he's going to be gray. So, let's see if it works. Let's break the tree. Will you get another one? Only if there's something in there. Okay, he planted it. Cool. Stand back, buddy. Stand back. Now, will he cut the tree down? He's cutting the tree down. Will he gather stuff up? Yep, he sure does. All right, cool. And you can see the tree already been replanted. So, like I said, you need one used seal for every tree. Now, setting up the property for these seals on multiples, on multiples is really time-consuming and tedious. There is a mod called Thomic Augmentation, which has a block called the Seal Copier. I highly suggest you get that just for that one block. There are other things in there, but that is the killer thing thing that's in there that I can't live without and I know it exists. So, like I said, Thomic Augmentation. Definitely get it. Uh, you, you you will. It's open from the very beginning. So, you don't need to do anything to get it other than have Goldmancy unlocked. So, yeah. I don't have that in this pack because I didn't know about that when I made the Thomcraft 6 series. But, like I said, definitely get that. And maybe later on I'll show it off and show a bigger tree farm. Because um, doing even nine of these things is really difficult. Okay, so there we go. Uh, that covers the Lumberjack seal, not the Blockbreaker seal. Although the Blockbreaker seal does what it says, the Blockbreaker. So the Lumberjack seal just means he will specifically do logs and break trees like this. So, alright. Thanks for watching. See you next time.